Take what you thought was rock and roll excess, triple it, and you would have only a small taste of Ozzy Osbourne's. You have heard the stories by now from throwing raw meat into his audience to biting the head off a live bat to epic drug and alcohol abuse. Ozzy says it's all true. It's all detailed in his new book, I Am Z. Ozzy Osbourne, good morning to you. You write in the book, let me read to you this quote. Over the past 40 years, I've been loaded on booze, acid, quaaludes, glue, coffee, heroin, rope, 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 clonopin, vomit, and too many other heavy-duty substances to list. I was on all of those at the same time. So my first question, obvious one, how are you alive? I don't know. It's a miracle. Miracle, don't You do see it as a miracle, don't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the miracle is that I was able to stop. Uh, I just made my mind one day. I was out of luck in my mind for so long. You know, I thought I'd try to be straight for a while. If it didn't work, I know what to get to do back to the way I was, but I kind of like it now. Yeah, now you have been on drugs, you say, since uh, I think it's 2006? Yeah. 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 Well, in the, in the book, you, you open up by saying they never s said I would write this book. Well, bleep them, because here it is. All I have to do now is remember something. How much do you remember? Well, you were strung out most of the time. Um, I, 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 the pro I, I didn't actually book pen to paper. I had to write the Chris Ghost. You had a ghostwriter? Yeah, and uh, it was like doing the uh, most in-depth interview I've ever done in my life. And uh, it two or three times a week, and come around every, and in no, no time at all it was done. And I, I remember saying to him, do you think you have to go, I have to write three books. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you start off, you, you know, talking about, as a kid, you grew up in a working class neighborhood in England. Dad was a factory worker, and he said to you early on, you're either going to do something very special, or you're going to end up in prison. And by the age of 18, you did end up in prison. For yeah. what? For petty burglary or whatever, I lost me. That's it. I didn't pay the fines. By the way, my friend to teach me a, a short, sharp lesson, which worked. I didn't want to go back there again. Yeah, and you had also had a string of, of factory type jobs. You worked in a factory where you installed car horns. You worked in a slaughterhouse for a while, and then to, to hear you tell it in this book, you get up one morning. And you decide you're going to be a rock star, and you put a. No, wait, it's, 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 it's kind of like that, but it, it, we Black Sabbath was um, a lo four guys from a local area that had a dream, and it came true. Uh, what made when, you well, think you could do it, Ozzy? Well, Beatles. The, when the Beatles happened, uh, I uh, I thought that's what I, that's going to be a guy to have. And my father, who didn't have a lot of money, afforded to buy me a PA system. I wasn't a very good one, but at least when I, when I was a buddy Zig needs gig on PR, I got people who had my voice on Amazon. You know. And that was the start of Black Sabbath. It was also the start of your a pretty much constant heavy drug use and alcohol abuse. Give me an idea of what a typical day would have been like for you guys as, as part of Black Sabbath. But it never stopped. I mean, I, I, I made a thing I never actually drink very often on stage, but I was still for anyways when I still loaded, so I didn't really need it. You were still it, loaded you know. from the night before, you yeah. said? Yeah. But it, it, it sounds, uh, sorry, I mean, there's a down, when you've got to do a show and you, and you feel so hungover, sometimes I'll have a quick, but then I'll quick, I could never, once, once I started, I could never stop. I couldn't go, I'll have one beer and one this and that. It was just like a garbage can, I was just throwing anything in. I'm, not, I'm proud of the fact that I, 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 I nearly died on several occasions, you know, but that's what happens, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't. I, I hope anybody who is watching this thinks it's not out of your mind. Cool to be. I mean, there's being out of your mind, but being me. You know? Yeah, well, you know, I'm glad you bring that up because people watching might say, well, this is kind of a bizarre cautionary tale because you did all these drugs for so long. So, what is the lesson here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. I can't figure it out. Uh, and it's, it's, it's not a lesson. It's just, I said to my, I was very kids, you know, I mean, one thing I do, do, do with my ch children, I, ch I tell them the truth, they ask me a question, I don't go, well, not, where the babies come, box, but I'm not family, you know, they've got the bottom of the garden. I, uh, I tell them the truth, you know. But do you bear any responsibility to bring up your kids? You have five wonderful kids. Uh, Kelly and, and Jack are two, we got to know through the MTV series, The Osborne, they were both involved with drugs yeah, yeah. and rehab. No, I think Kelman nowadays... Your lifestyle involved with drugs yeah, yeah. and rehab. No, I think Kelman nowadays, nowadays uh, 
It's everywhere. It's, it's, it's New York, not just in Los Angeles, but in the most all of. In England, for instance, where we live in England, it was a little, little tiny, quaint village. They frack there, you know. It's everywhere. In the, I mean, when I was doing it, you had to go. I mean, not when I started doing it. To the end, about to do it. You know, when you went when you went solo, uh, your manager became your wife, Sharon mm -hmm. Osborne, and and that was quite an undertaking for her because there was a time when you found yourself in jail, you didn't know why, and they said, oh, because you tried to kill her, yeah, that you had <laughs> tried to strangle her, uh, obviously uh, when you were uh, out of it. It was one of my uh, mm -hmm. alcohol and drug fueled blackheads. Why do you think she's stayed with you? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Sharon, real quickly, why? Because I love him. Simple. Simple. Yeah. All right. She loves you. Ozzy, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Man. Pleasure. Book is called I Am Z. Ozzy is born.